Hey there, East Tennessee. We had a very active and crazy Saturday, and now we're finally going to be calming down in terms of conditions overall. We are seeing mostly clarity on the radar as those storms continue to move through the area. But with your future cast, more of that clarity as we get into tonight. We were originally looking at the possibility of maybe a couple of showers trying to keep in during the overnight hours, but that's continuing to start to move out of the way. We're just in the middle of a lot of different boundaries, so a lot of them trying to push some rainfall into our direction as we get later into parts of your Sunday and even your Monday as well. But Sunday shows to have lower chances than your Monday. I'll give you a look at some of that in the models in just a sec. But once we get past Monday, things get a lot cooler and calmer as we get into the rest of the week. So looking at your Sunday, there is going to be still that level one potential for storms on the western half of our region. That's going to be including parts of the western Southern Valley and also out into the plateau. We move it further out into the regional view. We see that level two risk in parts of middle western and middle western Tennessee and also moving further out into the central plain. So here's a look at that. Clarities we get through much of your Sunday, but as you can see, a lot of our models are pushing that kind of out of the way. Something that we're seeing as we get into much of your Sunday is that we have some uh, high, uh, some high pressure that's going to be coming into the area, and that's going to help suppress some of the convection, some of the storm generation that we are seeing as we get into your Sunday. But we are seeing those possibilities again as we get into your Monday. Another shortwave system coming through that could also bring a front along with it as well. A lot of this, and even the National Weather Service is pointing to some storms coming in on your Monday morning, so it could be a bit of a messy head, a messy step out of the door as you're waking up, sending the kids to school and even heading to work yourselves. But as of right now, not as much seeing as high of that severe potential so far. I'll continue to keep an eye on that as we get over the coming days, but that's going to keep moving out of the way as we get into your early afternoon. So Again, here's a look at that front that we're going to be seeing. It's very dependent on how much of this energy we're seeing from the Midwest actually stays up in the Midwest or pushes its way down further into the south coming along with that front. So that's going to affect how much of that energy and how much rainfall we see. But as we look over the next three days, taking us into parts of our Tuesday night, we do have the opportunity of maybe another inch and a half as we get further into our plateau counties and some of our northern valley counties. So that's where we see again some of that higher severe risk as you work your way further into the plateau. Good news is after that front, we are going to see a drop in humidity. You see how steep that is going from about what is this? The lower 70s into the upper 50s to lower 60s. It's going to be a lot more comfortable as we get into the middle of the week. So the next seven days are going to be hot and humid for a little bit, cooling down as we finally get into the end of it and also a lot sunnier as well.